Oh, I'm Margaret in Windsor, and I thought <laughs> not feeling good at all. You can tell by the photo, I guess. But I wanted to get this up because uh, what's going on with me is I don't think uh, for one moment they mind killing me. Okay, so I'm going to put this up. Uh, first of all, let me say that the person who I was on Facebook with will know this if she watches it, okay? Uh, I, she had put some things up, and I mentioned on uh, texting her or posting her back that I had known, um, I'm not feeling good. I've told everybody uh, about my kidnapping, and and it's ongoing, like uh, I'm allergic to chemicals, and that's how they've run me and just about kill me. And that's what's going on here. And I'm going to put it up because after I made the post to Facebook to this lady, and God, it's even, I can't even, what was his name? Uh, and he lives in Crozet, Virginia. I told her that I had known him. He's, uh, oh, yeah, Richard, uh, no, no, Stephen. M. Greer. Um, I had known him. I said when she posted it, I thought, well, I knew him. He was at uh, NASA in Huntsville, and he may have known Jack. I don't know, but the odd thing was that he ended up in uh, Crozet, Virginia, which is uh, not far from Grados, Virginia, where I lived in 84 and 85, and when I still had Larry Flint's car and was in that campaign then to be president, and I guess everybody thinks it's a joke, but I was. But I want to say that right after I posted that to her, um, it was on Facebook and something she posted, uh, I thought, well, I've got to make sure that, that's a, that Stephen uh, Greer's a person in... Uh, I couldn't remember if it was how you spell crozet. It's been so long. I used to go up there, small town, and I fished some in the lake. And it's the same person. And he even came back to me on Facebook and uh, was really nice. Uh, so anyway, I want to say what happened after then. After then, uh, my phone went out. This is a new phone, let me remind you. A new phone. And it suddenly goes out because I was getting the voice on Google to find um, uh, S Stephen Greer's, uh, make sure he lived in Cro uh, Grata, I mean, uh, Crozet. I'm not feeling good. Um, I've had so much fumes and stuff pumped in here, I can't take it. Um, and they know it, so, you know, and the cops know it, so there you go. But anyway, the phone went out. And uh, right after then, uh, trying to find, make sure about St Stephen uh, Greer, and in uh, Crozet, Virginia, uh, that's spelled C-R-O-Z-E-T. So um, he was very prominent down there and did some videos. And well, this man is way up there. A lot of people know him. So, but let me get back to what just happened after. This is about eleven o'clock clock I can't remember I'm so sick but my phone went totally out I mean I thought I was locked out of it when it came back on it just and I just put it away because I couldn't get it back on which is really odd um when I came back on um there was my phone was being dialed I hadn't touched it it shouldn't even come back on there and it was a out of town number. I noticed that the area code out of town, and um, I just let it dial. It's dialing by itself and came on. And it was a school, a children's school in another state. And what it said was uh, that it was um, not open, of course, that time of night, and gave its hours. And um, the the thing here is when I first got this phone. Uh, I was texting on my little pink phone that I've used. I don't use it anymore. The phone number I got before I ever got it, okay? So when I went back to where I bought the phone, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it, it doesn't. I'm tied up so that I can't move or do anything. 
But anyway, when I got this new phone on the 11th of this month, or last month, um, I also got one of these calls from a children's school here in Roanoke. And it gets to be in a mess, the names used, because the name that was used when they called me as a Catholic school was um, one of the, uh, I can't even think right now, one of the, um, the name used in the Sandy Hook, the shooter there. I've told about mind control and shootings and patterns, and Larry Flint was shot, um, in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I usually show the Larry Flint where he endorsed me to make people know I'm telling the truth about this mess and who I am by being kidnapped, and that's really it. Um, the whole reputations. Winston Churchill, I found out, I had my dad's file burned, and uh, uh, I'm going to have to watch... Uh, my, this is Edward VIII, my father. He married Claudia Ruth O'Keefe from Madison, Wisconsin. He never had anything to do with uh, Wallace Simpson. A double was used to take out my father and all the lies that have been told about him. Uh, that file was burned and my bir birth was burned. I'm Victoria II and I'm legal heir to the British Crown. My uncle helped do it, the Freemasons. So there you go, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds. Uh, but I wanted to get into this. Now, The this is one of the things that's in the uh, patterns uh, of the shootings. It's mind control shootings like next door at Virginia Tech and there's a whole list of them. And it goes way back to when I was doing the book, Larry Flint was shot. Um, and that was a program shooting. But this is one that's never been uh, anybody done anything about. The Laura Childs is the uh, wife of Virginia State Trooper, uh, I think his name's Tom Childs. If he'll excuse me this time of the morning, the way I feel. Uh, but their daughter was shot in Caldwell Fields. That's next to Virginia Tech out in the National Forest where so much has been done to be. And I'm not kidding you, by the forestry themselves, the people that are supposed to force rangers, okay? So this shooting happened, and this was right after uh, State Trooper um, Carl Barton and his wife brought me down to Corporate Suites over off, I uh, can't remember, next to Valley View Mall. And uh, it, this happened about two weeks later than the Morgan Harrington uh, murder happened. Uh, but I wanted to get this in. It's Caldwell Field, and it's in Jefferson National Forest near Virginia Tech, right outside. They're both Virginia Tech students. The uh, daughter, uh, uh, Dunchiles is the father's name. And Laura, and Laura is the name of uh, my husband. Uh, well, he's deceased as far as I know. I really don't know. He was CIA. But John Childers. And so what they've done here, they've used Laura, John's sister, and Childs, the C-H-I-L-D-S, is just left out E-R out of Childers. And the Caldwell Field is very important. And by the way, I've tried to tell people the, the FBI agent up in um, um, Grottos, Virginia, that uh, was supposed to be retired, but he came in and told me up there, he said, we, and he meant the FBI, have made it so ludicrous that everybody knows you're telling the truth that gives them a chance to help or walk away. Well, now if I'm rambling, this is... Uh, his daughter and the um, um, her friend, they were Virginia Tech students, were shot and killed, I think, with a rifle uh, at Caldwell Fields. But this goes back to the shootings, and it really does, if you ever get the background on it, in um, oh God, Mesquite, Texas, Dallas. That's where I went when I was going out to Laura's just before April Fool Day of 80 when they put antifreeze in me and almost killed me. It was a miracle I lived, but I was trying to get out and stay at her place. She was in Abilene then, but she moved to Lockhart outside 
um, Dallas, I mean outside um, Austin. And Caldwell Fields, I'm jumping around, but I wanted to get up. If I die, I want it up here. Uh, the, they'd kill me anyway. It's gotten so bad. Uh, Caldwell Fields is where the balloons went down, um, and the people died. I think there was 16 or so. And um, I, I said that was a program. that This happened recently, that one in conjunction with the shootings. Uh, and the man that did the shootings was programmed, shot the five cops and killed them. Um, he, his, he had a beautiful home in Mesquite. Uh, but that was a program shooting, and then this one in Caldwell, uh, Caldwell County, I'm sorry, uh, where Laura May lives in Lockhart, Texas. That's where she lives, uh, and that's where they were doing the mesquite because uh, I know how this sounds, but I'm going to put it up the best I can. I feel horrible. Um, the mesquite comes into play just before April Fool Day of 80 when I started Dolores and uh, going to get my kids and get away if I could find a job because all that was going on, I had a letter from the FBI and everything, and it didn't do me any good. Uh, so when I got to Mesquite and uh, called Laura, she told me her whole attitude changed. Laura Childers Klein, and she's still living good, by the way. She's made no effort whatsoever. She was a part of it. She turned me away then after telling me I could come out there and stay for a couple of weeks, and she'd try to help me find a job, and I'd bring my boys out there. Well, she told me I was no longer welcome. I went back, and my ex-husband had my apartment that allowed him to have it, and the FBI run it. Uh, the woman, that's when I got the letter from the FBI, June the 23rd of 79, uh, ongoing investigation, national security involved. I thought it was because of the book because I didn't find out about my kidnapping and then I started remembering. But that was after I was out at, at Larry Flint's in that campaign in 83. So this is going to go off and I want to get a few other things in there really because uh, this is what's going on here. And their names are so important. But the fact that Tim Kaine is running for, uh, for VP uh, with Hillary. That's the New World Order. I thought Tim Kaine, he's ex-governor and now he's a senator and a VP candidate. Jens Orange was a program shooter. He was the diplomat's son. And you don't hear them say anything about Elizabeth Hasem. That was program shooting. And Tim Kaine, when he was governor, was supposed to let um, Jens Orange go back to Germany. And they all know that around here. Believe me, I've put this up on video and everything over the years. So now then they found out um, since he's VP and there's getting news coverage, they've come out with he didn't do the killings, period, just like I told everybody. I want to get this up because it's going to go out before. This is the people here. Sunny, this is a valley thing, and it was um, this date. Um... Uh, 8514. A truck driver gave this to me. Um, he was a long haul that was staying here once before when I was. The Patels and the Shaws own all these uh, motels around here, and they own a lot outside of here, but they've gotten so wealthy you'd have to see what has gone into it. And I'm going to give you the people that they're the ones that have helped gas me. You have no idea. I run and I'm run back here. But um, I'm going to give you the names of the ones here. John Edwards, who had had um, calling them great entrepreneurs because they just opened another uh, hotel. And I, I'm not kidding you when I say how much they have, much wealth they have accumulated. Uh, okay, John Edwards is Virginia State Senator. Mark Warner is U.S. Senator now. He was a governor. Uh, you've got Bob Goodlatte's office. I've told you all about him. He's a Republican senator, and he was a part of this that said he couldn't help me or he'd be out in the forest living with me. And now he's head of the intelligence and judicial. At least he's on the boards of both. Very important. So I could go on t uh, reading some of the names here, and I'm treated like garbage, and I'm getting gassed to where it's so sick. That's how they run me. I paid rent this time, and God knows it started, and it's so sick, and they know it. 
uh, now then tonight when my phone went out and um, all that happened, in comes a uh, vehicle right next to me. It backs in and sits there and revs its motor for about five minutes, so I knew somebody. They back in with these constructions, and they're told to. And if you don't believe it, I'm sorry, because this is happening, and if it's ever over, for God's sake, and I live through it. But anyway, uh, I looked, finally got up and looked at the window, and I'm going to have to go.